Good morning and welcome to Superior Sunrise. Grab a cup of coffee and tag along as we bring you industry news and happenings from across our great nation. Or as we sit down with interesting folks with a story you need to hear. Our experts will explain what's going on in today's market. And as always, the best quality cattle will be offered at our upcoming auction. It's going to be a superior day. Thanks for joining us. Good morning and welcome to Superior Sunrise live from the second day here at the Corn Belt Classic in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I'm Katie Kaufman. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Soon world champion auctioneer Charlie Cummings and I will give you a brief market report and give you a recap of yesterday's auction and it was truly an impressive day. And in the spotlight with Kirby Schnorr, she gives you an inside look at not only a Hall of Fame baseball player, but a true American rancher. We have great guests on hand today, including Roger Janes, Superior Livestock Representative with High Tech Marketing, and Superior Livestock Buyers that not only bought yesterday, but are planning on participating today. And as we all know, Superior Sunrise wouldn't be complete without world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade and I giving you a brief preview of what will be offered today in the auction. I hope you're having a great morning, and I'm glad you joined us. We'll be back in just a moment. The Country Page has a wide variety of cattle from different regions. Having the ability to accommodate many of our customers, our team is always available to assist whatever cattle needs you may have. I like to use the Country Page because it gives me advantage to sell these cattle for immediate delivery. Hard work, dedication, that's one thing that kind of sets the base for the Country Page. Country Page is a great option to market your cattle. Visit with your rep today or call the office and with a few easy steps, we'll have your cattle listed in no time. Superior Livestock is on the move and has found its new home on Rural TV. From Superior's commercial cattle auctions to their coveted purebred auctions, Rural TV, Dish Network, 232 is the channel for Superior's greatest customers. The continued growth of Superior Livestock has made the transition necessary to ensure Superior's best customer service and dedication to the beef industry. For more information, call Agnet today. Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me, Charlie Cummings. Charlie, great to see you, and wow, what a great day yesterday was. It was. Great to see you also, and I tell you, it was. It was absolutely fabulous. You know, we talked about that a little bit going into it uh, with, with these feeders where they're at and even the live cattle strong, you know, and lost some moisture uh, across all all the, these rains have been so gen general throughout uh, these co the corn belt here that, uh, uh, yeah, definitely reflected in the market yesterday. Well, we primarily focused on regions 3, 4, 5, and 6, as today we'll go into more regions 1 and 2. But yesterday, those prices, there was never there was never a relaxed time. It was strong all day. It really was. It really was. You know, on, on all the classes of cattle, we, we had just a tremendous market. You know, uh, showcase several cattle. Um, couple sets of 865 pound steers you know bring 220 uh, which would be really really good genetics and show what they got uh, in, the, in the north country as well as even some Kansas Flint Hills steers uh, weighing eight you know bring 205 206 so great market. Yeah yesterday towards the end of the day I was even on the bid line there just for a little while and there were even heifers that were bringing just as much as the steers towards the end which I had some buyers on the phone going did that really just happen and it did. Right <laughs> and I think we're going to see more of that in the future you know as we start to get these numbers uh, trying to replace these numbers and get them back up where we need to be and uh, we look at these heifers bringing almost as close as steers pretty exciting for uh, for the producers yeah. and what do you expect today oh my gosh as we see these we get started here it's such a privilege to be able to work with high choice marketing and then even and and you have roger on here later i know but and then to, the the producers in montana and the great job they do in the, in the lewistown area and around there you know we'll get started off with a crack and we'll go all the way through region one and two and we look for it to be really really good and and, and active and you know there's such a good demand even in in the feeder the the guys that's feeding these cattle are taking these calves and uh, taking them on to finish so we look for them to be active in the market also today. Yep, I agree with you. And not to take anything away from today, but we do need to look towards next week as well, uh, which is the Tallgrass Yearling Auction. First time for Superior, and it's pretty close to your hometown. It's a little bit different than our typical video auction. It is going to be a little different, but it will be it will be uh, it will be great. Also, you know, we get so much uh, activity on the internet. We thought, well, let's throw together a little uh, internet sale. Not only just uh, 
to, to showcase the cattle, but it gives the producers in the, in the Flint Hills area and the Tallgrass area and the Osage area to be able to come and, and meet with us and greet with us uh, as, as well as be able to showcase their cattle, and uh, it'll be a great auction. And the uh, deadline for that is next Wednesday, so that's even a, a great benefit to the producer. If they're thinking about selling, be sure to get a hold of our, one of our reps. Yep, you're exactly right. It'll all be on superiorclicktobid.com, and like Charlie said, the deadline is next Wednesday with the auction being on Friday. For more information, you can log on to superiorlivestock.com. Thank you, Charlie. And folks, when we come back in the spotlight with Kirby Schnorr, stay with us. Join Superior Livestock for our Tallgrass Yearling Auction broadcast exclusively on the internet Friday, June 20th at 9 a.m. Central, featuring yearling cattle from the Flint Hills and surrounding areas. Bid on site at the Lyon County Fairgrounds in Emporia, Kansas, or at your convenience on SuperiorClickToBid.com. Consignment deadline is June 18th, so contact your rep today for more information. You can visit us anytime at superiorlivestock.com or check out the country page. Over the years, cowgirl icon Pam Minnick has told captivating stories of American ranchers across the country. Now that baseball season is in full swing, let's take a look back at an American Rancher episode featuring Baseball Hall of Famer and Cattle Rancher, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan had a baseball career that lasted 27 years, and his record 5,714 strikeouts ranks first in baseball history by a significant margin. But long before he was a Hall of Fame pitcher who fell in love with baseball, Nolan Ryan fell in love with cattle. For some reason, I've always wanted to be in the cattle business. And so when I was about nine or 10 years old, I convinced my parents we lived on the edge of town in a subdivision. And the rodeo grounds were just, oh, about half a mile from our house. And so the uh, uh, VFW owned them. And uh, I went over and was able to lease a pasture from the rodeo association. And uh, uh, I talked my parents into uh, letting me buy day old dairy calves and uh, I'd bottle feed them and I'd, the first one we went and got my mother took me out to the dairy and we got it and it cost me a dollar fifty and we put it in a, a feed sack and tied a sack around its neck and put it in the trunk of the car and brought it home <laughs> and so I would raise them up to about four or five hundred pounds and then I'd take them and sell them at the auction barn once I got enough money uh, to buy a uh, heifer, I'd buy heifers, uh, a beef heifer, and uh, take them back, and then uh, I'd built up to about seven, eight heifers, and, and I had a bull, and uh, then about the time I got to that point, I uh, uh, got in junior high and started playing sports, and there wasn't enough time, so I had my first dispersal, <laughs> and uh, then I always knew I, it was something I wanted to do, and, and baseball gave me that opportunity. Throughout his career, Nolan was a power pitcher, well known by his coaches, teammates, and opponents. Beginning his majors career in New York, Nolan Ryan was part of the Miracle Mets team who won the World Series in 69. He was traded to the California Angels in 1971, which was owned by Gene Autry. There he blossomed and threw four no-hitters from 73 through 75 and established season records for strikeouts. In 1979, Ryan signed as a free agent with the Houston Astros and became the first player to sign a million dollar contract. In 1981, he threw his fifth no-hitter, surpassing Sandy Koufax and setting a new major league record. In 1989, Nolan Ryan signed as a free agent with the Texas Rangers and achieved some great milestones in the twilight of his career. I think to, to look back on your life and all the neat things that have happened to me, uh, to be blessed with such a good wife and, and such good kids and now grandkids, uh, I, I truly am blessed. Nolan's success in Major League Baseball and his passion for ranching has made him a spokesman for the beef industry. He is very knowledgeable about things concerning the cattle business and helped promote U.S. beef to Japan on behalf of the U.S. Meat Export Federation in 2007. In 2009, Nolan Ryan was the recipient of the Chester A. Reynolds Award from the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. 
As a cattleman, Nolan has also received recognition from the Beefmaster Breeders United. I enjoy the lifestyle. I enjoy the people in this business. I enjoy the cattle and uh, I enjoy being on the ranch. Uh, it's the most challenging business I've ever been involved in because there's so many uh, things that are out of your control from uh, the market to the climate. From my background in baseball and those challenges, I think uh, uh, I've accepted challenges as part of life. Superior Livestock Auction is hitting the road soon and we'd like to see you at our upcoming summer auctions happening all across the country. Mark your calendars now. The week of June 10th through the 12th, join us for our annual Corn Belt Classic in Council Bluffs, Iowa. July 7th through the 11th, Superior Livestock will be nestled in the beautiful mountains of Steamboat Springs, Colorado for our annual Week in the Rockies. We'll visit our friends out west for our annual Video Royale in Winnemucca, Nevada, July 28th through August 1st. Cooling off at the bottom of the Bighorns in Sheridan, Wyoming for the Bighorn Classic August 18th through the 22nd. As always, our Labor Day auction will end our summer run in Denver, Colorado, September 10th through the 12th. You can view our entire schedule online at superiorlivestock.com and we look forward to marketing your cattle the superior way. 44 Farms is known throughout the country to have the greatest quality Angus genetics backed by the most responsive customer service. For four generations, 44 Farms has continued its integrity and commitment to the beef industry by providing elite quality bulls and females to help enhance your operation. To learn more about 44 Farms, visit them online at 44farms.com. Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me, longtime Superior Livestock representative, Roger Janes with High Tech Marketing. And Roger, this has been a day you've been waiting for for quite some time, you along with your partners. Today's going to be a good day, a lot of customers, a lot of great cattle. Well, and good morning to you, Katie, and good morning to all our people out there watching today. Uh, uh, this is our 26th year with uh, Superior Livestock. It's been a great venue to present these great cattle of Central Montana to our buyers here in the Midwest and other places. And and Bob and Steve are out there and, you know, kind of getting things lined up, got the people called. We're starting a little earlier, but uh, uh, it's a beautiful morning here and we're excited. The market's uh, a lot different than it has been. It keeps kind of feeders up, fats up, corn down. It's kind of working, you know, in, in a good favor. Um, We've got excellent cattle. We don't want to brag on them too long. You know, the proof's in the pudding. They're well-written contracts, dime slides on them. Uh, Nancy Gill started a program with uh, the Vista people this year called Prime Vac. We've got a majority of those calves in that program. And uh, uh, But, you know, we always talk about the cattle and how good they are and the consigners. You know, after 26 years of consigning with us, we also got to think about the buyers. There's two parts to the equation. You know, without the buyer in the seller, you don't have a sale. And fortunate, I kind of grew up in this country in the cattle business, and I know a lot of people here. Uh, they supported not only Superior Livestock, but then been great supporters of high-tech marketing. And I, I think our people respect that, and I think the buyers respect that, and I think everybody's just looking for a fair and equitable means of uh, marketing their livestock. So hopefully it will be another successful year, and we'll be back next year. I'm sure it will be. Yesterday was a true testament to how great the market truly is. And like you said, we have so many buyers on hand and the folks that are right here in the Iowa area that you are so familiar with. We're actually going to visit with some buyers here after after us. But uh, like you said, your other partners are up there in Lewistown, and they've got a big party started today. How many people do you think are up there? Oh, you know, <laughs> do you want me to kind of just kind of exaggerate a little <laughs> bit? But I'm sure we've got a 100 and some lots of cattle on there. If their wives come, there's 200, I suppose, maybe with the neighbors and people interested in the market, 300. But the uh, Lewistown Eagles Club has been a sales site, one of the original ones that we started with Superior Livestock with the old B-sized dishes. And, and uh, we used to rent one, pull it in on a flatbed, and had the kids sit there for the wind wouldn't blow it around. But we got them sold then. But the way this technology is, it's just gotten bigger and better and a lot easier. 
regions one and two are what we're going to be focusing on today, like you said. And give us some numbers. I know you're humble, but we've got to we've got to spell it all out for folks just to know how much you have on today. Well, it, you know, in the scheme of things, it's very small. We got a little over ten thousand head of Montana calves. We start now with some uh, NHT, some lighter cattle, and we go into some more uh, kind of our heavier April bound cattle, some and our heavy six fifty weight cattle. Uh, we're a thousand twelve hundred head down. Uh, not necessarily because uh, the shortage of numbers. I think they maybe retain some heifers back. Uh, some not our customers. Some some people you know got jumpy and sold early. But uh, our numbers are pretty much consistent. But Lewistown, Montana is consistent, and that's I guess maybe why we've been so successful there. Well, I know that you uh, all those customers are so dear to your heart. In the more than two decades that you've been in the business here, just at Superior, did you ever think you'd see the cattle market like this? Not ever, not ever. Uh, at this point in time, though, you kind of look back and say, wow, these things are costing a lot of dollars per head. But you know, we always heard about, well, what's a tractor tire cost? What's uh, fuel cost? What's insecticide, herbicide, a bag of corn, combines? You know, I'm talking about the dollar. It just takes more dollars to run an operation, whether you're farming or whether you're feeding. And uh, the investment for the return, I think the American people are going to come to realize if they're going to eat by, you know, 2,000 and, uh, what, uh, 40 or 50 when we got 9 billion people, they're going to realize that the, that the food that we produce, that the American farmer and rancher and feedlots produce in this country is a very reasonable product. And uh, exports are going up. It's so much different in the old days. You know, we used to sell 100 calves. didn't matter if they had a 21-day calving period or a 90-day calving period. They just bought them and sold them with a straight truck. Whenever they needed money or fence posts or hog feed, they'd sell a load of cattle. But today, everything's on a consistent uh, flow. You buy cattle weigh in seven, seven and a quarter, and you got them projected to hit an April market. Those cattle consistently have to do that. And I guess the more consistent you are, the better price and premium you receive from the buyers. So there's a lot more to it now. Yes, and we are seeing that not only yesterday, but I'm sure today as well. Roger, thank you so much. And good morning and hello to everyone in Lewistown and, and have a great, great day. Thank you again, Roger. And Take folks, care. <laughs> folks, when we come back, uh, we have some very special guests. Stay with us. Superior Livestock is proud to bring you the 26th annual Week in the Rockies, nestled in the beautiful mountains of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Superior brings you outstanding offerings of cattle from their six regions across the United States. Join Superior Livestock on Rural TV or Superior Click to Bid July 7th through the 11th. Tune in early to catch industry news and interviews on Superior Sunrise. Don't miss the Week in the Rockies on Rural TV. To consign your cattle or get a buyer number, call 800-422-2117. Tune in to the Rural Way of Life on the American Rancher. Go with us as we visit the people and places and follow the stories that make ranching an American lifestyle. It's both the heritage and enterprise of livestock production across our nation each week from the people that do it. Check RFD-TV, the magazine, for times and listings in your area and visit our website, theamericanrancher.com. long we have the opportunity to see not only so many of our great customers and consigners but also the buyers too and I I twisted these guys arms to come on the program here this morning and I knew it took a little bit of work but I'm so glad both of you are here next to me I have Mike Freeman he's a feed yard guy right here in north central Nebraska as well as Doug Shepard the same north central Nebraska and the Corn Belt Classic is one that you guys come to a lot and what's even more particular about your operation is that you are very in a niche market you're in HTC Mike Doug you are all natural and here this is the place to be and we just heard Roger Dane's visit about all the great cattle that are on today and Mike uh, first visit thank you so much for coming on but visit about you coming to C Corn Belt Classic and why you keep coming back here well for the cattle that we want you know the NHTC cattle uh, they're able to bring a lot of them together at one spot and uh, Roger I, I do a lot of business with high tech you know and and the cattle are just wonderful and and uh, a lot of them at one spot where I can uh, gather what I need for the for the year, really. Yep, and I know that's a lot uh, the same for you, Doug, as well, being all natural. Visit about the premiums and why you decided. I know that you and Mike work a lot together as well, but why did you decide to do this with your feed yard? Where I'm located in uh, north central Nebraska, there, there's a 
a ready supply of roughage, cheaper roughage, and it works real well for the natural. And a yard my size, it was just a good fit for us. And, and we use Superior because they can showcase these cattle for us and find them for us, and then we have an opportunity to buy them, which is, you know, it, it would be almost impossible for us just to drive the countryside and try to find them. Right. So, so it, it was a good fit for where we were located. I know, Mike, you and I were visiting earlier. Yes, you're on hand today uh, here at the at the Corn Belt Classic and our bidding and buying on the floor, but you are one of our customers that uses Superior Click to Bid a lot. And for some buyers that are kind of on the fence about it, give us why you decide to do that so often, and do you like it? I love it. I mean, it's the, the ease of use. You know, when I can set in my office and, and buy the cattle I uh, need and, and uh I don't have to travel the countryside uh, looking for them or go to a sale. You know, this is close enough where I can uh, come down and visit, but uh, the click to bid is, is so easy to use and, and uh, never had an issue with it. We had Doug Stanton on yesterday with IMI Global, third-party verification, and also helps with All Natural and NHTC, as you well know, Doug. Uh, give us uh, the process that you went through to becoming All Natural, and was it worth it? It was worth it, and the process, when we started it, uh, started to get into it, and it's been about uh, eight years since we've been doing the natural. We thought it was going to be the, the first initial paperwork you'd think, wow, can we really do this? <laughs> it's like, gee, this is a, maybe over the board, but Doug's company does a very good job, and my staff that I have at my office picked up on it. It, it wasn't near as hard as we think. I tell a lot of producers, you know, ranchers that I run into, I said, it's something that you can add value to your animals. You can add value to your herd by doing that. A lot of people I think are a little bit hesitant because they think that they can't do it. It's not hard to do. And it has worked really well for us, for my operation and Mike's both. It's, it's, it's give us another tool of marketing that we can do that wasn't out there before. Yeah. I agree with you, and like we've talked about on Sunrise, not only yesterday, but today, record prices in, in the cattle industry. As buyers, is it tough? Oh, it's very <laughs> tough. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's a big risk today, and, and, uh, but if we're going to stay in this business, you know, we have to uh, proceed and, and use a little common sense, and, and we use the board to hedge a lot, you know, because with these uh, prices, like you say, uh, you need some protection. Lasting comments on pricing, Doug. It's not one for the weak at heart right now. <laughs> uh, the market's good. The cattle industry is good right now. And uh, all sectors seem to be, be moving along very well. Um, it, it's a good time to be in the cattle business, but it's also a cautious time because at the levels that we are at now. And, and we do the same as what Mike does. We do a lot of hedging, a lot of contracting of cattle. It's, it, it makes you become, or you need to become better marketers every day in a market like this. We want to thank both of you so much for coming on Superior Sunrise this morning, and truly thank you for your business. And uh, we'll be back, folks, in just a moment with world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade. Stay with us. We're seeing record calf prices these days. There's two ways to, to look at that. They're bringing so much money that adding a few more dollars with a vaccination program doesn't make much difference. Or you've got a heck of an investment now to protect. As a seller, we want repeat buyers. And the only way you get repeat buyers is with your cattle performing. And the best way for your cattle to be able to perform is for them to have a good health program. These buyers understand and have found out through experience that paying for prevention certainly beats trying to treat their way through a problem. History has shown them that those are the calves that make them the most money. We still see that added value of a good vaccination program. When we buy cattle off of Superior, we will not buy cattle unless they have a vaccination program. The reason why we do that is because the health of those animals is so much better. The best time to get a good vaccine response is at the lowest period of stress, and that's certainly when that calf is comfortable on the cow, in the home pasture, nothing out of, uh, out of the ordinary. He's gonna have a great response. Calf that receives the basic respiratory and clostridial vaccines at two to three months of age while on the cow. One of the things we've stressed at, at Merck Animal Health is that we can add pounds to a calf and we can improve his performance by not just addressing the core respiratory disease vaccinations, but by looking at the uh, pounds and revenue generated through a, a good implant program 
and the same with a parasite control program. In the end, uh, greater revenue and greater profitability for our producers. For every producer out there, there is a vaccination protocol that can fit their operation. Join Spear Livestock for our Tallgrass Yearling Auction broadcast exclusively on the internet Friday, June 20th at 9 a.m. Central, featuring yearling cattle from the Flint Hills and surrounding areas. Bid on site at the Lyon County Fairgrounds in Emporia, Kansas, or at your convenience on superiorclickbid.com. Consignment deadline is June 18th, so contact your rep today for more information. You can visit us anytime at superiorlivestock.com or check out the country page. Superior Livestock Auction is hitting the road soon, and we'd like to see you at our upcoming summer auctions happening all across the country. Mark your calendars now. The week of June 10th through the 12th, join us for our annual Corn Belt Classic in Council Bluffs, Iowa. July 7th through the 11th, Superior Livestock will be nestled in the beautiful mountains of Steamboat Springs, Colorado for our annual Week in the Rockies. We'll visit our friends out west for our annual Video Royale in Winnemucca, Nevada, July 28th through August 1st. Cooling off at the bottom of the Bighorns in Sheridan, Wyoming for the Bighorn Classic, August 18th through the 22nd. As always, our Labor Day auction will end our summer run in Denver, Colorado, September 10th through the 12th. You can view our entire schedule online at superiorlivestock.com and we look forward to marketing your cattle the superior way. Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me, we always save the best for last, world uh -oh. champion auctioneer Ralph Wade. Ralph, great to see you. And like Charlie and I talked about at the top of the show, wow, what a day yesterday. You bet, and thank you, Katie. Uh, it is a beautiful morning. We got, uh, of course, a great crowd on hand here again. And uh, yes, we had, uh, had a Quite a market yesterday. Uh, you know, I, you got to revert back to what Roger said about, you know, it's about time, I guess you would say. But, uh, yes, these cattle, uh, you know, bringing prices that, uh, you know, I don't think any of us thought uh, that we were going to this level. We knew our numbers were down. Uh, we knew we had a better market ahead of us. And uh, But, uh, you know, to reach the levels that we're reaching right now, uh, don't believe anybody believed it. But, uh, you know, hey, it's great. It's going, uh, it, it's on its way. You are right. Well, I know that today your preview is a little bit easier than yesterday. You had a mouthful yesterday. What are we going to be seeing today? Yeah, I don't get. I don't have to <laughs> cheat today. You know, we're going to be regions one and two calves on cows up there in the great state of Montana. But we do have you know a lot of calves out of some other areas on Idaho and and different places. It'll be a little later right after. We're going to start right out with those good Montana calves, and uh, then we're going to have our bread stock at the end, and we have a few way cows, and we only got about I think 600 bread stock. Uh, you know that time of year, Katie. We don't a lot not a lot of bread stock uh, going right now the calves are on the cows they're out on the pasture so uh, not a lot in that division but boy do we have some great calves for you yes you're right well we know that roger was pretty humble this morning when he was talking about not only his customers but the cattle they have on today but uh, wow what an impressive set you've seen him for years and the customers are just as great as well 26 years <laughs> <laughs> that you bet that's how long that they've been and I've had the opportunity to help market those kids and be a part of it uh, it's just a great uh, niche in my life to to have had the opportunity to work for those great ranchers those great folks up there and uh, you know to see this market after all these years that uh, you know that I remember that uh, I won't say necessarily struggled but uh, you know it's been some tough times for a lot of those ranchers with droughts and and uh, bad cattle markets and up and downs and uh, you know all these Type of thing, and uh, you know today's reward day. Yep, you are exactly right. Well, you saw that I actually twisted some buyers' arms to come on the program. That doesn't happen very often, but they were niche markets, all natural and HTC, and they're going to be participating participating heavily today. And a lot of those cattle are that as well. Not to mention a lot of VAC protocols also. You bet, and uh, you know they brought out some super points. The fact that what we do at Superior in going out and gathering these cattle uh, that are on these programs, and you know, uh, uh, without a doubt, you know, Superior is the leader, and uh, you know, has been the forerunner uh, with these back programs and back protocols. And uh, you know, the buyers appreciate it. Uh, you folks out there that are sellers, you need to think about that. 
You're right, and we will see all of those logos on the screen throughout the day. I want to thank you, Ralph, so much for joining me this morning on Superior Sunrise. Soon we will switch on over to Rural TV for the great auction today. If you are in need of a buyer number, you can call us at 800-422-2117. And folks, for the photo finish today, we're here at the Ameristar Hotel and Casino, and the picture you're seeing are all the TVs up there next to the buffet line where all of our great customers get to watch the auction. It is truly a sight. We want to thank all of you again so much. And don't forget, next Next week, the Tallgrass Yearling Auction. You can also find more information on our website as well. Thank you again, and I guess Ralph and I are going to be saying so long here from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Like I said, tune in to Rural TV coming up.